Hello, this is Mark Tobias. We're going to briefly demonstrate and describe the Medeco M3 cylinder. This is their new technology with the slider mechanism that replaced the standard biaxial lock. This is the standard Medeco M3 key. It's distinctive, as you'll note, because there's a protrusion on the right-hand side of the key. When this key slides into the lock, the protrusion interfaces with a sliding mechanism within the lock to set it at the appropriate position so that the sidebar within the lock is capable of being retracted. Unless the, the sidebar and the slider are in the correct position, the lock cannot be opened. There's a basic design issue with this lock that we believe can compromise the security of the Medeco M3 cylinder. And that is the geometry of the slider. This slider can be bypassed with a piece of wire or a paper clip, as we'll show. This is a standard Medeco M3 six-pin cylinder. This is a high security rated UL437 and ANSI 156.30 certified cylinder. That means that it is designed to resist covert methods of attack for at least 10 or 15 minutes depending upon the standard. Up to three levels of key control can be implemented by Medeco to protect against the duplication of unauthorized keys. The problem with this lock is that it can be bypassed one of the levels of security by a piece of wire or a paper clip. This lock has a piece of wire inserted into the keyway in order to circumvent the action of the slider. Just doing this will not open the lock. We must make that clear. This is only one component of three levels of security. The problem is that we've created a key that will bypass the key control of this lock, as we will demonstrate. This is a simulated key that we have created to open this Medeco M3 cylinder. This key will open the lock. The key is inserted. The lock is open, just as if it were a factory standard key. The slider is completely bypassed. It's just that simple. We perceive that there is a security issue, a potential vulnerability with the slider scheme in the Medeco M3. If you have a facility that employs these locks, then you need to be aware of the potential vulnerability of having your restricted keyways replicated. The other problem is that other types of keys can be simulated for these locks, including the potential for bump keys. This has been a demonstration showing the potential vulnerabilities of the M3 cylinder and its key control. We would urge those responsible for security and facilities to look at our detailed report that outlines exactly what the problem is, the design issues that we perceive uh, can cause uh, the security in this lock to be at risk in certain situations. Thank you.